Welcome to Figure Feedback, my name is Jeremy, and today I want to tell you about a type of 3D printed wall art that I just ran across on Maker World, and it's really, really cool. It's called Caligrams. And what a Caligram is, is basically a visual representation of, let's say, a character. And words are used to describe that character in the shape of that character. If you look it up on Google, you'll see lots of different types of calligrams, but I haven't seen many 3D printed representations of calligrams based on popular characters. So let's take a look at some of them right now. Now the person who put these up on Maker World and designed these is called Crazy Boy. And you see that he's got a few different uh, calligrams here available. Here's one of Goku, Super Mario, Deadpool, SpongeBob, a minion, Homer, Sonic the Hedgehog, Ryu from Street Fighter, Doraemon, and then the rest are just other designs that they've done in the past, but these currently are the nine calligrams that they have available. Now the thing about these particular types of calligrams is that they require five colors. So if you have a Bamboo Lab printer along with an AMS, you have access to four colors. If you've got a Bamboo Lab printer from the P series or the X series, you could have more than one AMS and then everything would be fine. But if you only have one AMS, you'll know that you only have four colors. So in order to do this properly, you need to be able to use a fifth color with your AMS to pull it off. Fortunately, there is a way to do that, and I'm going to show you how to do that right now. So as you can see here, there are five different colors. We have black, yellow, gray, a tannish brownish color, as well as white. And once you slice the file and you go to print plate, you're going to see the colors that you have loaded up in your AMS and the colors that the slicer is expecting in those AMS slots. So if you've been using your AMS before, you know exactly what this is. So for me, I have black in slot one. I have yellow in slot four. In, slot, in this slot here is going to be gray. Slot three, that's where my gray is. And then slot two is the tannish brownish color but we are still needing to put white into this print as well. And that's where this fifth portion is down here. Now, in order to pull this off, we have to tell the AMS that the white filament is in the exact same spot as the black filament in this particular case with this file, because this file is going to print the black first. And when it's done, it's going to move on to yellow. And once the black is done, we can just load in the white filament. So when it goes back to the first AMS slot, the white will already be there. So down here, I'm going to click on this and I'm going to select the very first AMS spot. So now we have both black and white associated with the first spot on the AMS. I know that the picture looks weird, but it's going to be okay. Trust me. So check this next part out. The creator has automatically put a pause on layer 26 of this print, which means once it reaches this, it's gonna pause all by itself because this is the moment where the black printing stops. If I move up to layer 27, you can see that at the very beginning of the 27th layer, it immediately starts printing in yellow. So this is what I did as soon as we reached layer 26, the printer paused. Now, I thought that maybe you could go in and manually tell the printer to unload the black filament so that you can load in the white filament. But unless I'm missing something, the Bamboo Lab A1 doesn't let you do that. It does not have a option for you to unload the filament that it's currently using in that AMS slot. It is completely grayed out. So what I did instead was even though it was paused, I just told it to resume. As soon as it resumed, the black filament was cut and it was retracted and the printer started pulling in the yellow filament. And that was my opportunity to take out the black filament and then put the white filament in the first AMS slot where the black filament was. Because I'm not going to be using the black filament anymore. So now whenever the printer decided that it needed to get white filament, it just went back to the AMS slot one because that's where I told it the filament was. And it printed everything 
else as normal. So that's how you can print with a fifth color when it comes to using an AMS when you only have four slots available. Now, another thing that you can do if you're not going to be printing one of these calligrams is simply leave a spot on the AMS completely open. The printer will think that there's something there because you told it that, let's say slot two is supposed to be white, but you decide to not put anything in white. So therefore, when the printer goes to switch to that filament, it's gonna realize that there's nothing in that spot and it's going to automatically pause. And then that will give you the opportunity to take out the filament that was used previously and then load it up with the fifth color that you're gonna be needing down the line. So you can load up that color and then you can also put in the white that the printer was expecting. And then that way you'll be able to print with the fifth color as well. I know it might sound like it's a lot of to do, but it's really not. It's just really quite simple. It's just that one slot that you're gonna to have to change whenever the printer is not using that particular filament. And here is the result of that. This is the Homer Simpson calligram that I printed out and he looks so freaking awesome. I love this. And this took up the entire bed of the, uh, of the Bamboo Lab A1, at least when you go from front to back, like on the Y this extended the entire length of that and he just came out looking so good here's a look at the back and if you're curious about the black build plate that i'm using for this that is from big tree tech because they sent me over a few different plates and that particular plate has textured pei on one side and then on the other side it's a smooth pei and it has a carbon fiber uh, pattern on it and that's why on the back of this print you might be able to see that same carbon fiber pattern on the back of it and it's it's very, very smooth. So I'm just trying to try out some different types of build plates and see how that works out. But yeah, pretty awesome calligram here. And it doesn't take a whole lot of filament altogether. This one took 103 grams of filament. There were 60 filament changes and the total amount of waste from this totaled 12.37 grams. So it wasn't a ton of waste and it wasn't a lot of filament to use in general. And I got this really cool piece of wall art from it and it's pretty thick as well. So yeah, that is a twofer. That's how you can print out these calligrams for yourself and use a fifth color in your AMS as well. So I hope you found this helpful, and if you did, do me a favor and leave a like and or subscribe because I'll always have more videos coming up in the near future. So until then, take care of yourselves. I'll speak to you soon.